Hello friends, so today's question is what is order of execution in Salesforce? It is one of the most favorite question of uh, an interviewer in any Salesforce admin and development interview. Uh, for this question I want to share a small clip from uh, my online course uh, where we are discussing about the order of execution. So here it is. What is the order of execution? This is one of the most important slides of today's class. I'll talk about the questions as well, which will be answered be asked based on this particular slide. When you click on the save button, maybe it for insert or an update, both scenarios we have the save button. What will happen on the back end? When you click on the save button, if you are doing an update, for example, it loads the original records from the database. The older values are overwritten after that. Then the system validation rule fires. What do you mean by system validation rules? That means depending on the data type, the maximum length of the field, some specific rules regarding some specific data types like email, there has to be at the rate of in case of email. So these are system validations that will fire. Then your before trigger will fire. After that, the custom validation rules will fire which you have written then comes the record saved in the database the values of id created by and other values are generated records are reloaded from the database then comes the after trigger so you need to remember these two events when exactly this before trigger fires and when exactly this after trigger fires then comes the lead assignment or case assignment rules auto response rules workflow rules escalation rules then Finally, the roll-up summary values are updated. Then your security model record-based uh, sharing is done. Finally, the data is committed if there is no error in this whole sequence. And then maybe the post-commit logic if they are existing is fine. What kind of interview questions will be asked on this particular slide? Let me write this question. It's a scenario-based question. Says that what if in a, for a consultant maybe you have written a workflow rule. Okay. And in that workflow rule, you have written a field update that update the status as new when you create a particular record. Then you have also written an apex trigger which will update the field update status to in progress. That means on the same event you are trying to update two different values for a particular field. What will happen when the, when the record will be saved? According to this slide, if you remember these points, the order of execution, what will happen? First, the before trigger will be fired and the value of status is equal to in progress will be set after that the workflow rule will fire and it will override the value of status as new so when you finally see this particular record the value of the status will be new to answer this question you should know how exactly this order of execution will work there can be multiple questions in your interview based on this order of executions there are scenarios sometimes they will directly ask you can you give me a brief idea about the order of execution when you click on the save button? So you need to remember these scenarios, how exactly these 15, 16 points are occurring one by one. So you need to remember, mug up this whole slide. It is very, very important. This is a very, very important slide. Thank you friends for watching this uh, video uh, till the end and I wish you all the very best if you are preparing for Salesforce admin and development interview. See you in the next video.